Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to find the equation of the line, both the general and the parametric equations of a line in three-dimensional space, after we've been given two points on the line. And it turns out that if you're given two points, you first have to find a parallel vector to the line before you can find the equations. And to do that, we're simply going to subtract the x, the y, and the z coordinates of the two points from one another to get the length of the x, y, and z components of the parallel vector. In other words, v can be defined, v being the parallel vector, is equal to the difference between the x components in the i direction, or I should say x coordinates, not components, but coordinates, plus the difference in the y coordinates, y2 minus y1, in the j direction, and this should be minus here, and plus z, 2 minus z1 in the k direction. So notice we take the difference of the coordinates in the x direction, in the y direction, in the z direction of the two points and make those the length of the components of the parallel vector because we know that the ratios have to be the same. That's why we can do that. So we're given the two points right here, so let's plug in the values. So v is going to be equal to x2, which is 1 minus x1, which is 2 in the i direction plus y2, which is a minus 5, minus y1, which is 4, in the j direction, plus z, which is 8, minus 6, in the k direction, k right there, and so we get v is equal to minus 1 in the i direction, minus 9 in the j direction, and plus 2 in the k direction, and there is our parallel vector. Now remember, in the previous video, we knew that if we have one point and the parallel vector, we can find the equations. So let's go ahead and pick one point, doesn't matter which one we take, so let's take that point. And now we start with the general equation. So let's write the general equation, it'll be x minus x sub naught divided by a equals y minus y sub naught divided by b equals z minus z sub naught divided by c. And let's make that look like an equal sign. Okay, now plug in the values. So this would be x sub naught, y sub naught, and z sub naught. And this here would be a, b, and c. And let's plug that in. So we had x minus 2 divided by a, which is minus 1, equals y minus 4 divided by minus 9 equals z minus 6 divided by 2. And here is the equation representing the line. Now, to find the parametric equations, we write it as follows. We have x equals x sub naught plus at, y equals y sub naught plus bt, and z equals z sub naught plus ct. And remember that t represents the ratio, the ratio of the difference in x values divided by the length of the components of the parallel vector. And so plugging in those values, we get x equals x sub naught, which is 2, plus a t, but in this case a is 1, so minus t, y equals y sub naught, which is 4, plus b, which is a minus 9 times t, and z equals z sub naught, which is 6, and a plus 2t. And here are the three parametric equations of that line. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that, not that hard, is it? It's actually pretty simple. Of course, once we understand how to do it, and that is how it's done.